Hey guys, it's Jordan here from Six Overcrest Rally Sport. I have brought in my personal car to have Adam scan the rear seat so we can make the rear seat delete. Uh, but if you come here, uh, I think it's a little overdone and I don't think Adam's going to be able to get back there. What do you think? He's definitely not fitting through there. We're going to need to find a different car. So this is our good friend Killen. He brought in his junky STI for us to cut up and work on. Uh, he's been driving around his pristine 25RS. Yeah, we wanted to get the door panels scanned since none of our cars ever have interior. Uh, this has full interior, which is awesome. So we're gonna be scanning the front door panels and we're also gonna be scanning the rear seat and the side rear quarter panels in the back. We've got some plans for that that you'll see later. So we're super excited about this. Yeah? Sick. Cool. Sick. Little trade secret um, for 3D scanning stuff. Um, we use this powder spray on black shiny materials like this so we can actually pick up the, um, the shapes, uh, the reflection. Um, is minimal um, when the scanner's going. So we just basically give it a little spray. The key with 3D scanning basically is just to keep the same distance on the object from all angles, uh, just like painting. All right, so I got 3D scanning done, got it in the computer, we meshed everything together. Um, I don't know, what do you think? Does this look like that? Maybe just in gray? It looks pretty good. More panels done. Now it's time to crawl in the back of this thing. Uh, it's the real fun part, getting all cramped up and trying to trying to get all the angles and everything scanning inside here. So we're gonna go ahead and get in here. It's like a rave in here. Literally, strobe lights. There's no music. I need music. Bring the music. So the scanner's pretty handy. We use it for a lot of car parts. Um, sometimes we use it for gifts. Like for instance, Rory's wife loves his elbows. So we scanned his elbows and 3D printed a copy of them for Valentine's Day last year. She's gonna love this, dude. Yes, yeah, because this Keep is the all stock. This, this is the stock, and we obviously we need that. Is it actually really Like, is that a bit? Yeah. Totally all right. So, just got done. As you saw, 3D scanning the whole back area of that GC8, and so now we just brought it into the computer so we can start doing the design side. The program is all about planes, and uh, I'm using those to recreate what we want to do with this and make it. Uh, fluid and flow nice. More than anything, uh, sexy. Very yeah. sexy. So they're gonna be sexy panels. Sexy panels. Um, yeah. We'll probably do them in plastic and offer them in carbon fiber also. Um, plastic we can figure could be covered in carpet or uh, maybe Alcaterra or suede leather. Um, or you can do whatever the hell you want with it, quite honestly. And so that will come up here and then we can design everything else based, like off, it. based off of that and get rid of this bar. Yeah. Easy enough. I'm going to go back to work. Here's the original scan that 
Adam scanned of the rear seat of the GC8 and basically what I've been doing is going using the scan uh, to base my design off of so I have a fairly accurate representation of what my design will be and if it will fit properly. Uh, this is the you know the back seat of the GC and we're not gonna really modify that one really at all. We're just gonna make our own lightweight version of it. But yeah, so I have that one pretty much ready to go. Hopefully within, within the next few days we'll be uh, cutting those out and getting a set thermal form to, uh, for fitting. All right, so we just got done rough cutting the side panel for the back seat delete. And now, it's gonna be a late night and uh, we'll be running the actual back seat uh, on the router tonight. So, grabbed it off the router and now we put a coating over the top um, to make it withstand the thermal forming process. Uh, puts a nice hard uh, candy shell, like an M&M, on it. All right, this is my favorite part right now. We're thermal forming. You're gonna watch the sheet come out pretty hot. We're gonna go ahead and drop it right on top of those molds and see how it forms. Start rough breaking it down right now, which essentially means score the plastic, get a few rough lines cut. Just like that. Alright, so I have a cut piece that I trace out because we don't have cut lines on the molds because they're really hard to show up on the sides of this guy. So I just trace it out. Okay, everything's ready to trim here. Everybody shut up. Tray piece done for the kit. I'm gonna give the rest of it to Adam so he can test fit it. And that's it. Alright, so we're test fitting uh, these panels. They're a little dusty. We've been going at it. Um, on this pristine uh, GCL. Um, one of one with no nose on it. Very rare. <laughs> This in place, hold this in place. That looks sexy. Hey, what's up? As some of you may know, I've been building this car for a few months now, but I got something really cool in the mail the other day. I've been working with Six Over Crest to make these rear seat deletes, and they sent them to me finally. So I have the first set in my car right now. Check it out.
Ooh, so sick. These rear seat deletes, along with some other rad products like these, are available at Six Over Crest. So I suggest you head over there now and get you some.